The first day of winter and the longest night of the year, December 21st, is also National Homeless Persons Memorial Day. It's also a great reminder that during the holiday season, there are many without basic comforts. We're going to talk more about it this morning with the CEO and president of the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition, Reverend Stephen Braddock. Reverend Braddock, thank you so much for being back on the show with me today. Good morning, Jenna. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to visit. Reverend Braddock, to commemorate this day, the FKOC has sponsored a memorial service since 2000. Could you give us a little bit more history on this? Yes, certainly. Um, the National Coalition for the Homeless in Washington, in Washington D.C. started sponsoring these events in um, 1990. And in 2000, uh, the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition began sponsoring uh, a local memorial service to commemorate um, the lives of those who, who died in our community and also on the streets of our, our nation. Uh, last year, Monroe County and Key West were among 140 communities across the country, representing 40 states and the District of Columbia to host local services. And this year, we'll be sponsoring three services in the Florida Keys, one on Friday at 3 o'clock at the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition Vault in the historic Key West Cemetery, and then two more on Saturday, one in Marathon uh, in the evening at 5 p.m. at St. Columba Episcopal Church, and there's one also at noon in Settlers Park in Tavernier. Reverend Braddock, this is uh, a controversial issue here in the Keys right now, the homeless population. As you know, it's been all over the news. Why do you mm. think it's important for people to come out and, and honor the homeless on this day? Well, we're not honoring people for being homeless, but we're, we're honoring people um, who shared in our humanity. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that it's important um, that they died homeless or wealthy or, or who they were in life, um, we may not have known them at all. But the re reality is, uh, in t during 2013, we lost 64 souls uh, who lived in this community and died in this community impoverished. Um, not all of them necessarily met the federal definition of homelessness, but they died essentially alone and with no one to give them a, a proper uh, burial or even to, in many cases, claim their remains. Three of the 64 were infants. The oldest was a, a 96 year old lady who died in, in February. Um, so I think that all human life um, has value and is worthy of our respect and to be remembered. Reverend Braddock, we were talking earlier and you said that you do expect a large crowd this year. It's not just gonna be city officials either. Uh, no, no, we get uh, members of the, of the general public, a lot of uh, the service providers, of course, participate. This year we'll be having a visit um, from uh, our Congressman, Joe Garcia, who will be par participating, as well uh, Florida Senator Dwight Bullard and Monroe County Mayor Sylvia Murphy. Um, there's a number of interfaith clergy who will be taking part. We have three vocalists. Mm -hmm. Key West City Commissioner Clayton Lopez is among them. Um, so it's a, it's a very moving, uh, special uh, thing to be a part of, especially this close to Christmas and, and the holidays. We also need to, to keep in mind that many of our, our homeless population are veterans, and about 25% uh, have worn our country's uniform in service. And um, we, need to, we need to honor that service. And for the past several years, the Navy has participated by sending the, the honor guard to pay tribute to, the, to those who died uh, homeless uh, after having served our country. And in fact, this year, the command chaplain, uh, Lieutenant Ethan, Ethan Eberts uh, from Boca Chica, from Naval Air, Air Station Key West, will be the one delivering the, the eulogy. Great. Now, Reverend Braddock, this Friday we will be meeting at the vault out at the cemetery. Can you give us a little summary on the vault before we go this morning? Uh, we purchased, FKOC purchased the vault uh, about six years ago, and we did that with the proceeds from a, f a small life insurance policy, which was left to us by a formerly chronically homeless man who went through the FKOC recovery program, 
graduated and joined our staff and was actually actually a member of our team for five years before he lost his battle to uh, to cancer his name was Maurice Smith we called him Bo mm -hmm. and so the the vault is actually dedicated to Bo his remains are in the vault and uh, at some point there will be uh, in excess of, of 300 other individuals interred in the vault uh, along with Bo right and of course the public is invited to all the events that will start on Friday and last into Saturday. Absolutely, and for those who are coming to the Key West Cemetery, we ask that they enter the gate by the Sexton's house, and there will be ushers there to, to guide them to, to the FKOC vault. And in, in the event of rain, it will be uh, held at the First Congregational Church on William Street. Great, thank you so much for Thanks giving for us this me. info and, and for being back on the show. Thank you very much. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.